Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to talk about how much protein do we actually need and how to maintain a positive nitrogen balance. Now before I talk about what nitrogen is and how it really works in the body, I want you to understand the basic food groups like protein, carbohydrates and fats are actually made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Now there's nothing to worry as there's not a lot of chemistry involved in this. All I want you to understand is that protein is the only form of food that has additional nitrogen in it. So now nitrogen is very important for all the biological functions in our body. It helps in the production of hormones, neurotransmitters, improves the functioning of immune system and also helps in protein synthesis. So now you see that protein is actually very important for all these functions and also muscle growth. Now how do we maintain a positive nitrogen balance? Now in order to maintain a positive nitrogen balance, you have to make sure that you get both essential and non-essential amino acids. But essential amino acids are very very important because your bodies cannot produce them. The name itself implies that it's essential because you cannot produce it. You have to get it externally either through your diet or you have to supplement it. Only then you can get into a positive nitrogen balance. When it comes to non-essential, it's equally important because you need a complete amino profile of both essential and non-essential amino acids to keep you in a positive nitrogen balance. That's when you start building muscle or basically an anabolic state when you're actually building muscle. Now, when it comes to negative nitrogen balance, you tend to break down your muscles. You're basically in a catabolic state. You're, you're not in the process of building your muscle, but you're in the process of breaking it down. So you have to make sure that you get a complete amino profile of both non-essential and essential amino acids to make sure that you're in a positive nitrogen balance. So how to understand whether you're getting enough protein or not, or how do we even know whether you're in a positive state of nitrogen balance or a negative state of nitrogen balance? So in order to understand this, you have to take a urine urea nitrogen test. This test will actually help you understand the levels of protein in your body, how much protein is being broken down, how much protein is being consumed. It also helps you to understand how well your kidneys are functioning or how efficiently are you able to absorb protein from your gut. If you are somebody who struggles with gas immediately after you consume protein, then you have to make sure that you get this test done to understand the protein levels in your body and also to understand how well your kidneys are functioning. Consider taking this test in order to understand the protein levels in your body. When it comes to your protein requirements, anywhere between 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight is the minimum amount of protein that you should be getting. But if you're an endurance athlete, then you have to increase your protein consumption to anywhere between 1.2 grams to 1.7 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Hope this video was informative. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below.